Heads up, people. We're getting ready to go live. Camera two, you ready? I know he's a jerk, but he's paying us 20 bucks to do this. Camera three, you ready? Make sure your focus is right. Last time he was a little blurry and you said it made him look fat. All right. All right, everybody. Heads up. Three, two, one. Cue the music. Hello? I'll get the trash in a little while. I'm making a video. Come on. Gosh. Hey y'all, Steve here with Adventure Outdoors. And you know, a lot of us like to use live bait when we fish. You know, we either trap it, we throw a cast net or whatever, but we can't always get to the live bait. So I want to show you today a little simple rig that I use and a lot of kayak fishermen that fish in the ocean use to snag live bait. It's really simple. I've got it bagged up here. It's just a combination of treble hooks. As a matter of fact, there, right now, I'm going to show you me using this rig to snatch up some live bait to fish for bull reds. There is no right way or wrong way to make this rig. This is how I do it. I try to keep it as simple as possible. It works for me. So what I've got here is I use three treble hooks. These are size four. You can use pretty much any size you want. I wouldn't go much smaller than this right here. And this is maybe a half ounce lead sinker. And what I do is I start off with a three or four foot piece of just some mono, floral, floral, whatever, it doesn't really matter, but just get you a big old long piece, and that's where we're gonna start. As far as the sinker goes, I just want enough weight to get to the bottom. That's all I want, because I'm gonna be snatching this thing pretty hard, so I don't want a lot of weight on the end of my line impeding me when I'm snatching this through a school of bait. All right, because that, line I was using that mono it's gonna be a little bit hard to see I'm gonna show you how I make it with just a piece of paracord it'll show up better in the camera so you've got your tag in here this is where you're gonna put your swivel so what I do is I just go down a little ways make myself a loop tie a knot in the loop just like that and I do it two more times so I go down I want to be far enough down because I do not want my treble hooks going to be right here so I don't want it interfering with the next treble hook down the line so I go down a little ways grab me another loop all right and I just make a simple I don't know what you call these overhand knot something I don't know what you call them so there we go I've got two knots in it two loops once again I do it again for the third loop okay simple knot just like that and now we've got a line we're right here this is going to be our swivel we're going to tie our hooks on those three loops and down here at the end is where our lead sinker will be here's what it's going to look like when you tie it into your mono or fluoro very simple Okay, we're gonna keep this simple still. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that loop, we're gonna run it through the eye of your treble, and we're gonna basically palomar knot it, okay? So I'm just gonna loop this over the treble. And I'm gonna pull it tight. And there we go. That's one hook complete. And we're going to 
do this two more times. All right, this is simple and fast, y'all. I got all three of my hooks tied now. So there's only two more things to tie. That's the sinker and the swivel. I don't do anything special for the weight. I simply run my line through, start doing some overhand knots. I just don't want it to come off. I do three or four of these. Just tie it on there. I'm in a hurry. And there's four. Trim that tag off. And that's what you have right there. So once you get your swivel on, this is basically what you're going to have right here. It's going to stretch out to about, oh, two and a half, not quite three feet. That's about the length that I like it right there. So when you get to this point, here is your next important thing that you must do. Bag it. Don't wait. Treble hooks have one mission in life, and that is to get tangled and snag stuff. From the time they're baby trebles to their old senior citizen trebles, they will snag something. So as soon as you make it, get that thing in a bag. Okay, I have them trapped for now, but right now they're trying to figure a way out or through that bag to snag me, my clothes, my fingers. So, bag them suckers. And another thing, don't make just one rig. Make several because it's just not worth, once it gets tangled, if it gets tangled, cut it, toss it, pull out your second bag, tie on another one, you're back at it. So make a bunch. Have several bags of these waiting and ready. So make you a few of these. They work. I mean, I like to uh, surf fish a lot and I always have my cast net with me, but sometimes you'll see a school of bait and it's just out of reach and there's nothing more aggravating when you're trying to fish but you need some bait all right so use one of those rigs toss over them and here's one little tip pro tip let the uh, sinker go to the bottom and when you snatch snatch up because you want that treble hook to come up through that school of fish so let it sink snatch let it sink snatch that's your snatch lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I hope you like this video. If you're new to the channel, I hope you subscribe. I uh, appreciate all the support on the channel as usual. Um, I will see you in the next time, of course, but I'm going to leave you showing why I like live bait. All right, see you next time. Wow, 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 wow,